Hello, this is a review of the Aurora Style fountain pen. Uh, just got this a couple of days ago. Uh, came in a nice uh, presentation uh, case, um, which was actually inside a larger uh, cardboard case and uh, had the uh, Aurora logo on it. <coughs> uh, the presentation case is uh, kind of leatherette. Aurora logo. Uh, open it up. Inside there was this two year warranty card. Um, it says uh, Aurora since 1919, Italian passion, sign of distinction. So, um, the pen uh, also came with a, a long cartridge, which is a Parker style cartridge, which has a kind of a broader. Uh, nipple and um, I use bottle ink so I haven't yet used the cartridge maybe I will someday um, talking about the pen <coughs> pen um, this is uh, kind of an old-fashioned looking sort of a classic looking uh, black and gold pen um, it's got uh, a rounded it's a quasi you know what they call either cigar shaped or torpedo shape design it's got a rounded uh, barrel at the end here and it's got a wavy um, clip as you can see here uh, looks pretty straight from uh, the front but uh, from the side it's kind of wavy uh, nice clip uh, it's got a little wiggle from uh, you can see here but uh, generally stable uh, gets into your shirt and coat pocket pretty nicely uh, no problems there. On the cap, the cap is kind of tapered, chamfered, beveled, whatever you want to call it. I hope you can see it here. Um, and it has this uh, Aurora logo shape, uh, little medallion or whatever you want to call it here, but it doesn't have the Aurora logo. I didn't, uh, when I looked at the images, I assumed that there would be an Aurora logo here. It, I think it would have been much cooler than with the Aurora logo this just looks like a cheap little sticker almost and uh, whenever I look at it I almost feel like peeling it off because it just doesn't look right so um, I wish they had the Aurora logo here I think that would have been much classier uh, there's a band on the cap gold, golden band um, I actually don't know whether these things are gold plated or not I'm guessing not because it's, uh, I think, a $70 pen. It says Aurora Italy. Um, snap on, snap off cap. As you open it, uh, the cap has another inner plastic cap. Uh, pen continues on with a sort of cigar shaped design. It tapers towards the uh, nib. Uh, the section is slightly rounded and tapered. Um, and there is a little uh, raised um, <clears throat> band here near the uh, nib at the end uh, tip of the section, which uh, I believe prevents your fingers from slipping onto the nib. So some pens have kind of a flared section. This one has a little uh, uh, rib here, if you will. Um, also, the section has an interesting uh, little band here, which flares out and as it flares out I hope you can see it a little bit as it flares out it uh, perfectly matches the uh, barrel when you screw it tight so nice little transition at this end uh, <clears throat> open it up it did not come with any uh, converter just came with that tall cartridge that I showed you uh, so I installed a sliding type uh, Parker converter um, which uh, I had an old Parker Vector that I was not using and I just uh, pulled it out of that um, this pen uh, has a stainless steel nib um, looking at the overall proportion of the pen it's got a smallish nib uh, the pen diameter is not particularly large uh, it's a regular size I would say you know comparable to most other fountain pens that you can get not exceptionally slim like the Pelican P381 that I showed you 
uh, nor exceptionally fat like uh, the Franklin Christoph Model 19 I did a review on earlier. Uh, I believe this is a number 4 nib in terms of the size of the nib, so it is the, one of the smaller nibs that I own. Uh, I think I only have a couple of pens uh, with nibs this small. Um, it's a friction fit nib, so there's no nib holder, and uh, the nib and uh, grip, uh, nib and feed, just uh, get pushed into the section or the grip here. Uh, I believe it's an ebonite feed, and uh, very plain feed with a couple of notches and no fins. Um, and uh, I don't know if you can tell. The shape of the nib is kind of unusual. Um, I really, um, you know, I, you probably can't tell, but uh, it's not a very traditional style nib. Um, there is a little, the tip of the nib is kind of turned up almost, it feels like. And uh, it it's just uh, not the same as most pens. In fact, just for comparison, I will show you, this is an Aurora Ypsilon Deluxe Pen. And you can see the nib is pretty straight. And here, the nib is slightly turned up. So I hope you can see the difference. And it just gives you a little weird feeling. Now, um, right out of the box, I uh, did not like the way this wrote. So I had to actually go in and mess with the tip of the nib and um, the tines were not aligned so I had to mess with them to get it to ride smoothly. Um, out of the box it was so scratchy that if I drew a bunch of lines just real fast it would just tear into the paper and there would be a bunch of paper uh, collecting uh, in the nib between the tines. So. I uh, was not particularly happy about that, um, you know, I, you know, I, I expect uh, quality brands to have nibs that work good right out of the box, not need any adjustment, especially, uh, you know, from uh, reputable companies like this. So, anyways, I made the adjustment, I kind of trashed the gold plating a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but... Uh, I had a tough time. It took me about 20 minutes to kind of get it right, but finally got it right. It's got um, the nib itself has a very simple design. Um, I don't know if you can see how I ruined the tip a little bit, at least cosmetically. Um, it works fine. I had to get do it to get it to work fine, but cosmetically, I think I kind of messed it up. The gold plating. It's a steel nib, gold plated, uh, very very thin, and I'll show you in a writing sample. The decoration, there's just this one sort of uh, line that kind of goes along the edges of the nib with some, uh, ends in some cursive uh, circles and whatnot. It says F for fine, <clears throat> it's a fine nib, a little vent hole, and then it says Aurora. So, a uh, pretty simple nib, um, nothing particularly great. Uh, after my adjustment, it started writing really, really wet. Uh, still a little scratchy. <coughs> I'm not going to say scratchy. It's, I think some people like to um, use the word uh, toothy. But uh, after my adjustment, it became uh, uh, very, very wet. And uh, I'm writing on a Rhodia paper notebook here. Um, and uh, let me just uh, show you. So I hope you can see it a little bit. It's a little wet. Wrote that a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds ago, as you saw. And there you go. You can see how wet it is. Um, for a fine pen, uh, very wet. Um, smooth now after my adjustments. And uh, I'm going to say. I think maybe I messed up the tuning of the nib and it is slightly on the wider side of fine. It's more like a medium, uh, slightly like a medium. So it's probably like a medium fine. Very flexible nib. Um, I have this uh, Aurora Ypsilon Deluxe Pen which has a gold nib which is not as flexible and the steel nib is very flexible. It feels like almost a gold nib 
because of its springy and flexible for springiness and flexibility very smooth no problems writing very wet um, just to give you a sense of how flexible it is you can see the line variation here I'll let the camera focus but you can see I can go from real thin to really really fat and uh, you know the the tines kind of open up quite a bit um, and uh, you know you can get some uh, really really uh, good variation out of a fine pen so overall um, not pleased particularly um, at the seventy dollar price point I think you can get a lot better pens um, but uh, you know I like the the classic look old-fashioned pen um, I just wish I didn't have to make any nib adjustments and um, I'm still probably gonna use this quite a bit and um, so I'm, I'm sort of pleased to have it in my collection um, but uh, certainly not my favorite pen but uh, if you like wet pens and I want to give this a try sure worth it um, one more thing on the nib um, this nib and feed I'm not gonna mess I'm not gonna sh demonstrate this but because it really messes up the alignment but uh, this wiggles around quite a bit so the nib and feed don't stay together so if I put a little pressure on the pen uh, on the nib on the side like this the feed will just go over to one side and they'll just go out of alignment very very easily so you have to be careful if you're using a lot of pressure and moving it around and things like that so but overall decent pen nothing particular to complain about not the best certainly um, hope you enjoyed this review thanks for watching